A shadow product is an alternative product profile of a product. For example, a product like a camera can be assigned a parent SKU and a shadow SKU. Now the same camera is identified by two SKUs. Doing this enables you to create a separate profile for each SKU, including the product title, images, highlights, and descriptions. It also links with the inventory of the parent product, so inventory of the actual product is maintained. If a shadow product is sold, the inventory count of both the parent and shadow SKUs is reduced. And when inventory is added to the parent product, the shadow product's inventory increases as well. Here are a few common scenarios where using shadows can be helpful. Number one, when you want to list an item in two categories. For example, a handcrafted watch should ideally be listed under handcrafted jewelry and under regular watches. However, you will not be able to list identical SKUs in both categories. Creating a shadow will create multiple IDs for the same product, enabling you to list it under a second category. Number 2. When selling a product on Amazon in two formats, like Merchant Fulfilled and FBA. Each format requires a separate merchant SKU, which can be accomplished by creating a shadow. Number three, when selling a product that is an accessory for other products. For example, Amazon assigns separate ASINs to cell phone chargers for different brands and models of phones. A cell phone charger for a Samsung phone will have one ASIN, while a charger for an LG will have another. When selling a generic charger that is compatible for both brands, you would want to list your charger under both ASINs. Creating shadows of the same item will enable you to attach each shadow to a different ASIN. Identify shadows easily by the corresponding icon. Note how quickly you can navigate from a shadow to parent SKU and vice versa. Call out the shadows toolbox. Click on the parent SKU. To go back to the shadow product, simply use the shadows toolbox again. Note the shadow icon. It indicates we are looking at a shadow product. Note that if we change a parent property, it updates the shadow property too, regardless of the different shadow product titles. Here's how to create a shadow product. Adding a shadow via manually entering a SKU. Add shadows via already existing SKUs. This is how a shadow appears within the Inventory Movement Toolbox. Note certain shadow product fields are disabled, like aggregate quantity, physical inventory, and more. Easily disconnect a parent from a shadow by clicking the disconnect icon and confirm the action. and vice versa. Note how easy it is to unlink a shadow from its parent SKU. Here is how a shadow product looks within the Manage Catalog page. Quickly access any given shadow by clicking the Shadow Image icon. Use the Shadows filter 
to customize your shadow searches as needed.